Hey everybody, it's Andy Cloudy Mulder, your self-proclaimed metal mogul. I'm uh, one of those people who are guilty of buying way too much, way too quickly uh, over the last couple of years. And uh, I find myself occasionally looking back through my collection and realising that I either haven't listened to something, particular album, in a very long time. Or I look at it and I cannot remember for the life of me what that um, particular album sounds like. So um, I've, occasionally I get in the mood to just put my media player that I have on a shuffle. I've got about 99% of my collection digitised. Um, it's what I listen to on the go. So um, uh, for, on occasion I will just set it to random play all of the tracks and there are thousands and thousands of tracks on there and the first five or so that uh, I come across that I either don't recognize the artist or the song or I think wow that's an album I've not listened to in a long time I pull those out and I give them a listen and I thought I would share with you uh, what I have reconnected with in my collection this time around uh, so the first one is a band called Scorpion Child um, 2013 release on Nuclear Blast. It was a blind buy at the time. I think it made up an order. This is uh, this band is actually from Texas. It's a very beautifully uh, presented uh, CD. Nice uh, pictures or what have you. Here we have the booklet. Some nice uh, arty live black and white shots of the band. Um, this band is it's more on the hard rock side than the metal. They have uh, lots of good, good light shot. They have some clear um, Led Zeppelin influences, but also there's some Black Sabbath in there as well. Uh, to put a modern twist on it, it also reminds me a little bit of Wolf Mother. Um, now I'm not, I'm not, I don't like Led Zeppelin at all, to be honest with you, I have nothing. Uh, by them it's not a band I listen to but I don't mind bands that have that influence on them and many many do but I thoroughly enjoyed giving this one a listen again it's been many years since I did listen to it um, I'm struggling to pick out songs though I listened to the album straight through enjoyed it as I say it's it's hard rock in the vein of uh, Led Zeppelin Sabbath and uh, Wolf Mother the bit of the sort of fuzz on the guitars uh, along with it. Can I remember any of the songs? You see that's probably part of the problem with this album. The song titles don't uh, jump out uh, along with the album but good listen. Um, it's If I see it again I will, if it sort of passes my eye in the collection I'll, I may give it another spin but uh, I may just have to wait for the, uh, the, the, the random music gods to pick it out for me again. Uh, the second one I've got for today is uh, Device. This is a band from British Columbia in Canada, I think. This is a 2014 release. It's self-released. It's actually a, um, a CDR. I'll come to this note in a minute. Uh, it's signed by the band. It's a three-piece... Um, I don't know what you're going to call them. Power trio. This is a straight-up heavy metal. Uh, homemade release. I, uh, I had a quick look on Bandcamp because that's where I bought it from and um, it doesn't look like there are any left although you can listen to the album on Bandcamp. As I say it's a, it's a CDR you can probably tell from the uh, there you go, from the, the different shading on the back um, but this is a really good album. I've totally forgotten about how good this actually is. Uh, songs to check out and do go on Bandcamp and check these guys out even if you can't find a physical copy it's well worth a listen but songs like Lost My Soul, Medusa, uh, City of Refuge, um, The Devil and the Shoemaker start to finish great heavy metal uh, I'd say 2014 didn't I? and um, yeah so I'd, I'd uh, obviously bought this from Bandcamp and they uh uh, I think they were a bit surprised by the letter. They were saying, we always chuffed to hear from folks across the seas. Uh, how did you happen across our music? And saying that they'd, uh, they'd signed the copy as well. Stay metal. Um, maybe best you meant. But uh, 
When was the last time you bought a CD or a, uh, an album and got a, a handwritten note from the band? Thank you for your purchase. Uh, nice touch. I don't believe this band is in uh, are, are still operational. Um, one and done, as far as I can tell. But um, device, really, really good modern heavy metal. Next up, also a fairly modern band. Uh, this is Rune Master and Wanderer, their second album. When did this one come out? Um, I'm going to say it's in the last two or three years, but of course there's no date on it. Rune Master, and they look metal as anything. Rune Master are a Scottish metal band. I think they're fairly local to Edinburgh. Um, and they play a heavy... Um, fuzzy doom laden heavy metal um mid paced heavy s slow to mid pace um but um yeah i loved their first album this one took a little bit more getting into and then i it kind of is one of those ones that went in the box and i um forgot all about it until uh, i was made to pick it out and, and give it a listen this week again uh the songs I remember, because I started listening to it and looking at the track log, Raven Lord, um, uh, Inscription and Metal, that's a very metal song. Um, but then again, I was, it was listening, it was background music, and I didn't go back and check which tracks that I was enjoying against the, the track listings. I find I, I'm less likely to do that in the, in the olden days, back in the day, as we say. I would be literally sitting there in front of the album, checking off each song as I go and remembering the names of the songs and being able to quote them all back. But I don't really do that these days. These days I check it on, listen to it, and I know which songs I like. And sometimes if it's a really great song, I will go back and check out the track name uh, to try and remember it. But the, uh, the old grey cells are not what they once were. But uh, Rune Master, if you like your uh, metal uh, doomy and heavy and epic at the same time, then they might be a band worth checking out for you. Now this is uh, an album I did remember, um, but I haven't listened to it for a little while. And when um, one of the tracks came up, what was it? Uh, I think it was just Bad, uh, Bad Boys of Rock and Roll came up as a random selection. I knew I had to go back and uh, I'd give the whole thing a spin. I love this really early raw, um, 1982 this was, um, version of Twisted Sister, when it was all just about rock and roll and having fun and raw uh, lyrics um, what you don't know run for your life sin after sin shoot them down under the blade brilliant tear it loose I had so much fun spinning this the other day absolutely fantastic early twisted sister you cannot beat it the last one I've got for you today um, is uh, wasp headless children now this one popped up and I, I nearly skipped it thinking, oh, it's Wasp, I know that really well, but I realised that I don't, I don't really know this album as well. It's, it's one that never gripped me. I thought this was kind of where they lost me. I loved the, the naughty Wasp. I loved the bad boy Wasp of uh, the first three or three, four albums. Um, it's got some good tracks on it, don't get me wrong, but without the debauchery they kind, of, they kind of lost me i love that that daft image that they had uh, and i could see that they probably wanted to um become across more mature and um more of a grown-up band by then and i guess by their age that that makes sense as well but um yeah um the real me great song mean man good song but the rest of it just it plods along. I mean, it's not bad. I wouldn't. I wouldn't hold, say this is a bad album. But if I want to listen to Wasp, I I, I grab those first three albums and the uh, and the Live and the Roar as well. Um, but yes, the Headless Children. Long time since I listened to it. I don't think I would grab it again in a hurry. To be honest with you, uh, I also have the uh, picture disc version, so it seems a bit uh, daft that for an album that I don't plan on playing much, I have two copies. I did buy. Um, I did get this uh, initially and then when it came I remembered um, this is when I first started buying vinyl again I remember how much I kind of disliked having picture discs I kind of feel cheated in that you don't get I mean this is actually um, quite uh, 
unique in the well not unique but different in the fact that you've actually got some sort of printed uh material that goes with it a stiffener in this case in the in the hard plastic case that would always stick to the record um i've got it in a polyline sleeve but generally when a, a um a disc comes it doesn't even have any card stiffener in it as well i always feel completely shortchanged because they're usually more expensive because they're a picture disc and they're um uh, and they're limited edition and um i mean it's even it's a this this is another thing as well okay so they've got the lyrics on the disc um how are you supposed to read those when it's playing especially when it's playing on that side floor design picture discs that are kind of a nice idea i suppose but um yeah i'm i'm not a fan collector's items maybe but i stick mine on my shelf i don't stick them on the wall uh i i will when i'm downsizing this will probably go and i'll keep the uh the black vinyl version so we go that's five bands i've reconnected with uh if you've not heard of scorpion child device room master uh you must have heard of twisted sister or wasp but if you haven't listened to those albums for a while uh maybe reconnect with them yourself and let me know what you think of them as well thanks for watching see you again soon